Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, I got to tell you about gas. So what's the difference between NEO and gas? NEO coins act as shares in the company similar to stocks. 100 million pre-mined tokens are all there ever have been and ever will be of NEO coins. Unlike other cryptocurrencies, NEO can only be sold and bought in whole numbers, so you can never have something like 0.5 NEO. Depending on how much NEO you own, you have voting rights and help decide on things such as updates to the NEO blockchain protocol, electing bookkeepers, and generating gas. What's this deal? Gas is, as you might expect from the name, fuel. And unlike NEO, gas can be broken down into fractions of a whole. When a user performs any task, on the NEO blockchain, such as running dApps or smart contracts, they must pay a fee in gas. These fees go to pay bookkeepers and act as dividends for NEO coin holders. This means that you earn gas simply by owning NEO. So say if you own 10 NEO, you will be paid approximately one gas per year. But make sure you stake your NEO by keeping your NEO in a compatible wallet, such as the hardware wallet Ledger Nano S or the desktop wallet Neon Wallet. Or if you want to keep it on an exchange, though that is unadvisable, you can put it on Binance, as well as a number of other wallets. Gas is an important aspect of the NEO ecosystem because it provides a lot of incentive for huddling. For example, right now gas is worth approximately $40. Which means that if you owned 100,000 NEO for the past year, you would have earned approximately 10,000 gas. That is a passive salary of $400,000. No problem. At NEO's current price, you only need about $15 million. Tequila. Oh well, never mind. Why don't we see what NEO was trading at at this time last year? Your killer track. <laughs>